In this section, we're going to briefly review what were the characteristics of data. These terminologies that we'll be looking at here we'll be using across the next several chapters, so it's important to get a first look at them now. We're going to be looking at these with an example of some very brief data looking at dog heights. So, the center indicates the middle of a data set. Now keep in mind we can have three different types of center. So when we look at chapter three, we'll be looking at a mean, which is the average mode. In this case, we don't have, which is the most frequently occurring data set. In this case, we don't have a mode. Each of them is unique. And the median. Uh, median is the score that occurs in the middle when the data is put in a, a numerical order. In this example that we're looking at with the dog height, we actually do not have a single middle score, we, so we have to average the two middle scores. Variation refers to the amount that the data values vary. Again, chapter three, we'll be looking at standard deviation. That is how far the data spreads out around the mean. And we'll also be taking a look at range. For range, we take the maximum value and subtract the minimum value. Distribution. This is what we're going to be working on today and under the next few sections. So we'll be looking at frequency distributions, and then we'll be going on and looking at histograms. So in a few moments, when you move to the frequency uh, distribution section, we'll be working with this same data again to create a distribution for it. Outliers. These are data values that lie very far away from the vast majority of the other data value values, and we'll be looking at these several times during the semester. In this sample data set, the value is 170 and, 8, and 858 appear very far away from the mean. However, they do not actually meet the statistical requirement of being three plus standard deviations from the mean. So in this current data set, we actually do not have outliers. Last the characteristic of data is time. So if we had measured Misha's height as she grew from a puppy to an adult, we would then have a characteristic of time included in our data. In this particular example, however, time, we do not have a time measurement. This concludes our review over the characteristics of data. Next up is frequency distributions.